let's get into the star of the show here. So the most common approach as an alternative for your high mileage drivers, typically those who are either coming off of a company car, um, maybe a, a flat allowance, um, is favor or fixed and variable rate reimbursement, favor. So think of this as a strategy for reimbursement that leverages regional and vehicle specific information that would influence a person's driving expenses. And then it reimburses the business portion of those costs relative to the real life conditions that is surrounding that employee and their driving frequency to their mileage. And it does so using a combination of a typical allowance and the per mile method, which we just learned about. So favor is the most common approach typically for high mileage drivers who are using personal vehicles because it's widely considered the most fair for both the employee and the employer. Why? Well, the data-driven nature of this method. This method actually requires us to use market cost database technology and market cost information to build employee reimbursement rates relative to the real cost of driving in their specific geographical area, right in their zip code. That also means when we do that, we're ensuring that we're 100% tax compliant or and, and rather 100% tax free if compliant to all favor regulations. So if I build using market data, if I do so in a compliant manner and my driver's compliant, I can pay 100% tax free across that uh, fix and that variable rate. And because of this, you know, favor has the ability to be tax free regardless of, you know, some other factors that might be more important in other programs, which we're going to discuss later on. And rates essentially prove to the IRS in a very granular way that every bit of money that you give your employees for driving for work is going directly to company required cost, no hidden income, no over or underpayment. And favor is eligible to be tax free for employees over um, 5,000 miles per year, um, which in your industry is extremely common. But let's learn a little bit more. So favor rates are built off of a, let's call it standard vehicle or the type of vehicle required to do the job. So every company is going to have different job types, different requirements um, associated with them. And it's going to differ maybe across organizations and departments as well. Um, so companies are going to say, okay, my drivers, uh, my distributors, my sales representatives are going to, you know, to, to execute their position. They Maybe they need a sedan. Maybe they need an SUV, maybe a pickup truck. It all depends on your company and the requirements of the job, whether service or sales or, or anything in between. So the company will decide that. They'll say, okay, they need this vehicle. And once determined, employees are reimbursed based on these standard costs right in their location. So it's broken down into two payment types. First, fixed payment. So think about this like a normal monthly car allowance. Very, very similar. Um, so this fixed payment calculated by location um, determines the you know, the, the ownership costs associated with having that vehicle type. So it also takes into account things like the amount of time that you spend driving for work. So the business use percentage of these ownership costs. So that includes depreciation on your vehicle, right? That's an ownership cost. Insurance, license or registration, and any taxes. Now, on the other hand, we have the variable payment, right? And that's applied on a per mile basis, just like cents per mile. It's supposed to cover the operating expenses as they're incurred, right? You have ownership with fixed and operating with variable. As you chug along, as you drive, as you put more mileage on, your cost will change, right? That variable expense. So this also depends on the location of the driver and their mileage. Things like fuel, maintenance, and tires in their area. So that's a lot. Let's look at an example of how something like this would be built. So step one of taking a look at this would be to input your driver's zip code and address data. So for example, I chose Vegas, fun city. That's the example city we're in today. Um, after that, you can select a vehicle profile in which you would calculate the reimbursement. So ask yourself and your organization, your team, what's the basic type of car someone should be driving in order to do their job? What type of car should we base the cost data on that fuels the reimbursement? And how much does it cost to purchase this car? All this information is calculated on the back end of the system. And then you edit the details. So you choose the vehicle's age, the business use associated with the job, insurance requirements, and then you adjust your inputs according to your specific goals. It's tax-free, fair, uh, no overpayment as rates will be created for each driver, keeping you happy and them satisfied too. And ultimately, this is the most inflation-proof approach. 